What's going on, my beautiful people? I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Happy New Year, and welcome to a brand new drum lesson. In this drum lesson, we'll be discussing left foot hi-hat groove ideas. Man, that's a long title, but trust me, it's gonna be a good one. Also, huge shout out to my friend Tony Gallego for getting me the shirt. It feels great, and it's pretty rad. I really dig it, man. Thanks again, bud. This drum lesson is going to test a bunch of things. Number one, is gonna test your independence. Number two, is gonna test your touch. And number three, is definitely gonna test your patience. The reason why I said patience is, there are some times where you're playing the groove correctly, but the micro timing might be off, causing a hi-hat opening that will absolutely drive you crazy. So with that being said, make sure you take this stuff slowly with a metronome and be patient with this process. So if you're ready to get to work, grab your sticks, grab your pad, grab your drum set, grab the PDF below that's in the description box, and let's get right to it. I'm feeling good, I'm hydrated. So before we get to the actual examples, let's talk about the hi-hat setup. So we don't want the hi-hat openings to be really small because now you don't have enough space to get a good chick sound. You also don't want the hi-hat opening to be too big because now you're gonna be off balance and now you have way too much space to cover with that left foot. What you want is somewhere in the middle. Um, it's like a little happy place. So just make sure you set your stuff up correctly before you go on. Just a side note, all the examples that we're about to play are swung, meaning we're gonna be counting it like this. One E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a one E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a. All right, so in example one, the eighth notes are going to be happening like this on the right hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The snare drum is going to be playing on beats two and the of two and on beat four. So we have one E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a one E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a. The bass drum is going to be playing on the downbeat of one and also on the and of three. So you have one E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a one E N, a two E N, a three E N, a four E N, a. All right, let's hear this example. In example two, we're gonna keep the same main groove. However, we're gonna add foot chicks on the E of one and on the of one. Let's hear how this sounds. In example three, we're gonna keep the same main groove. However, we're gonna switch the hi-hat chick to the of one and the of three. In example four, we get a little bit more involved with the left foot. So now our melody is going to be this. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Let's hear the example.
In example five, we're going to switch the melody again, and it'll sound like this. One e n, a two e n, a three e n, a four e n, a one e n, a two e n, a three e n, a four e n, a one. All right, let's hear how this sounds. In example six through eight, we're gonna be adding some spice or some sauce into your grooves. So the first half of example six is pretty basic. So the right hand's just playing eighth notes, so one and two, and the bass drum and the snare drum melody sound like this. Doom, doom, chikum, doom, doom, chikum, doom, doom, chikum, doom, doom, chikum. Now let's really focus on the six tuplets. The six tuplet grouping is just this. We have right, left, left, foot, right, left. And notice the first two left hands are snare drum ghost notes, so make sure those are soft. And then we move it back up to the hi-hat on the right left. In beat four, we have a right hand on the snare drum that's accented. Then we have two left-handed ghost notes. And then we move the right hand to the floor tom. Let's put all this together. But before we do that, make sure you're aware of the touch and try to make this sound as smooth as possible. Let's hear it. In example seven, you'll notice that the first three beats are the same exact thing as example six. However, what I wanna do is let's focus on beat four. In beat four, you'll notice that it is the same exact sticking as beat three. However, the only thing that changes is the voicing. So we have this now, we have right hand on the snare, two left hands on the hi-hat, but we're opening up the hi-hat on the third partial. Then we have left foot, then we have right left on the hi-hat. Let's hear how this sounds. In example eight, you'll notice that the first two beats are the same exact thing as beats three and four in example seven. However, the only thing that's different is that we're adding accents. So now you'll notice that the accent is on beat one, but it's also on the last partial of the sextuplet of beat two. In beat three, we'll have right, left, left on the hi-hat, accented downbeat. Then we'll have kick, right, left. 
In B4, we'll have an accent to snare drum, left, left. Then we have a kick, right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the snare. Whew, that's a lot of notes. Let's hear how this sounds. So here comes the most important part of the video, and that is applying this stuff to music. Now, all the tracks that you're about to hear are provided by Epidemic Sound. You can check out the link below. Uh, that's my affiliate link. And uh, you'll actually have access to everything that I have access to for 30 days. Give it a try. It's free. Uh, and you'll be able to jam pretty much with any kind of genre that you want. Also, I just want to give you a fair warning. Use this stuff tastefully. Use it musically. If the music calls for it, then do it. Don't just try to fit it in because it sounds cool, right? We don't want to impress our drummer friends all the time. We want to impress the people that are actually hiring us, okay? So just a fair warning. In addition, the first musical example you're going to hear is going to have examples one through five. And I normally would not go through the examples that quickly, but for the sake of time, uh, I just wanted to show you how to apply them to the music. So again, be tasteful and use caution. All right, so enough rambling from me. Let's get right to the musical examples. Girlfriend, you got me smiling better each day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Life is richer listen stay in lane figure out where to go and how about family new history here i go dreaming you got me going wild Thank you. 
Well, I hope you dug this drum lesson. For more lesson materials, you can check out my website, carlitomendoza.com. And if you dig what you see on this channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and I will see you guys next time.